So, Lone Rider here, and I wanted to talk about Benchmade and gun control. Um, now, like many fair-minded people, uh, I'm not a big supporter of the modern gun control movement. Uh, in fact, I'm very much against it. Um, that's not because I don't believe we should have any laws regulating firearms. It's just because I believe that the, um, the, the stopping point of a handful of common sense safety rules was reached a long, long time ago. And now we're into the level of infringing on people's rights. And it's wrong. And it's not cool. And it doesn't accomplish anything except scapegoat innocent people and their property. So I'm not a big fan of that. But that's a problem for me because I am a big fan of Benchmade. And as a cyclist and a person who spends time outdoors and working with tools, and uh, I invariably carry a pocket knife. Um, lately, it's been something like this... Uh, Spyderco Native 5. This is an old school version with the uh, S30VN steel. But, um, I don't know, it's uh, S35VN steel, sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm invariably carrying a pocket knife. To be fair, usually it's a Spyderco because I find the holes in the blade makes them very easy to open. Um, but I have carried Benchmades in the past, and I have owned Benchmades. Um, I own one right now, actually. But here's the thing. I'm always looking at Benchmates. I own more Spydercos than Benchmates, but I'm always looking. And I'm always thinking, oh, that's awesome. You know, should I save up for that one? Or, you know, it's a really neat design. That would be useful, etc. And then I just found out today that uh, Benchmate had apparently been giving money to anti-gun politicians for years. In fact, they were giving almost all of their donations exclusively to Democrats. And of those, four or five in particular were vehemently anti-gun politicians. Now, Benchmade came forward and explained why. Excuse me. Their statement was something to the effect of they're a manufacturer based in Oregon. They have to support the local politicians because, you know, what those local politicians do can affect them since that's where they're based. And unfortunately, those local politicians tend to be Democrats because it's Oregon. My problem with this is that what they're essentially saying is they didn't support the they didn't support the anti-gun politicians because they agree with their anti-gun views. They just supported them because of physical proximity, that those are the politicians that represent the area where they reside and do business. Um, my problem with that is you can't overlook it's one thing to say I didn't vote for somebody because of their bad politics. I just voted them for some other reason. Or I didn't give money to somebody because of their bad politics. I just gave money to them for some other reason. But you can't ignore that by supporting that person, either by voting for them, campaigning for them, or giving them money, that you're going to forward all of their ideas, not just the ones you agree with. Um, and saying, if you're a knife company, saying you're going to support people who want to outlaw firearms... Uh, now, unlike firearms, knives are tools, not weapons. But what have we seen? If you want to see where something's going to lead to eventually, look at places where it's been in effect for a long time. Um, New York is a classic example. They have really strict gun control laws and have for years. Now, they've gotten to the point where they're sending grandpas and little old ladies to prison for pocket knives, Right? They're literally arresting, you know, septuagenarians for, for Swiss Army knives and stuff. Putting them up against the wall, handcuffing them, throwing them in a car. Well, that's not a surprise. The government doesn't trust you. The government doesn't trust you. And not just with a gun. So the people who support things like gun control will sooner or later start restricting anything else they, they could deem dangerous or that could be used as a weapon. Even if it's something like a tool, like a pocket knife. Um... So, generally speaking, places with strict gun control also eventually, sooner or later, getting around to going after people's pocket knives. Now, why is this relevant to Benchmade beyond the fact that a lot of the people who are Benchmade's customers tend to be supporters of uh, the Second Amendment and the shooting sports and therefore unlikely to support gun control anyway and likely to take issue with anything that seems to support gun control? Um, there's, there's an even bigger issue here, which is that Benchmade is a knife manufacturer. 
it, and like I said, if there's one thing we know about gun control, it's that the same people who support gun control also usually get around to outlawing the carrying of pocket knives sooner or later. So what does this mean? Well, what it means is that Benchmade is, is a beggar to their own demise. They're taking their money and they're giving it to people who will ultimately, sooner or later, seek to outlaw the purchase and carrying of their products that they manufacture. That seems like a great business model. If your idea is to commit economic suicide, right? And then you have the fact that beyond the issue that the company's not acting in its own long-term interest, uh, and that it's acting against the, the, the like-minded interest of its customers, many of whom, like I said, do support uh, the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms and aren't in favor of gun control. Uh, then you have this. Should you support the politicians who represent the area where you live or do business just because of that physical proximity, that they happen to be there? I'm a bicyclist. I'm an advocate for cycling. Uh, I spent three years trying to get mountain bike access here in Union County. Now, the Union County politicians, they're all anti-mountain bike. They want to keep mountain biking banned. Should I support those people who want to restrict something I do? Just because I happen to live here and they're the people who represent here? No. If I'm going to support anybody, I'll support anybody who's running against them. I don't care if it's a purple elephant. I'll support anybody who's running against them and isn't just as bad. Why? Because those people are atrocious. I'm not going to support people who want to outlaw my stuff or things that I do or otherwise support unjust government policy or, or, or unfair government policy uh, just because they happen to represent the place where I live. Now, sometimes you can't change the demographics of an area. If if a place is tilted heavily to favor one party or the other, sometimes that's what you're stuck with, right? You could support challengers to your heart's content. They're not going to win. But that said, the question is, who? the question isn't, are the people you're supporting going to win? The question is, who are you supporting? What are you throwing your weight behind, right? As somebody who carries a pocket knife and, and uh, uses it on a daily basis as a tool, I don't want to have my money going to support people who ultimately may seek to outlaw the carrying of pocket knives. Just like I don't want to support people who are in favor of what I deem to be unjust gun control policy. Just like I would never in my life give one red cent to support the people who want to keep mountain biking banned in Union County, New Jersey. It doesn't matter that they represent the county I live in. I don't support them at all. I think Benchmade, you know, their products technically are very good products. The, the fit and finish is excellent. The metallurgy is excellent. The design is excellent. When you pick up a Benchmade, I tell people, it's like handling a fine Swiss watch. And like I said, I mostly carry Spydercos, but I, every time a new Benchmade comes out, I look at it. And I say to myself, is it worth saving up for that? And then I think about the fact that, well, if they've been giving money pretty much exclusively to Democratic politicians um, for the last however many years. Hmm. That would include some years ago when I bought my first benchmate. So how much of the money that I paid for that knife, which was a very expensive knife, how much of the money that I paid for that knife went to support politicians who advocate for things that I believe are unjust? There's no way to know how much, if any, of that money went to support those people. But since I can, in good conscience, support people like that, I'm not going to be buying a Benchmade product ever again, as long as I live. And this is a pretty sad thing, because, you know, they're an American company. They make the knives here. They're great quality stuff. They, you know, they're just, they're really good, really well-made knives. I tend more towards the spider coast now because they, uh, the holes in the blade tends to make them a lot easier to open. But some of you know some of the benchmates do have holes in the blades as well. And uh, like I said, every time a new benchmate comes out, I look at it and I say, "Oh, should I save up for that one?" Here's the problem, though. 
every time I think of doing that in the future, this is going to be in the back of my mind. And I'm going to say to myself, yeah, suppose I save up for a really nice bench bait and I drop 140 bucks on it. How much of that 140 bucks is going to be going to support something that I find morally reprehensible, unjust, etc.? I can't take that chance. So I'm not buying any more Benchmates, ever. And, you know, that's a sad thing. I don't... They're, they're, they're a local company right here in America. They make really high-quality stuff. Who wouldn't want to support a company like that? You know what? Normally I would say I'm all for supporting them. Except when they act in a way that I don't believe is in the best interest of the country. Or myself, or many of their customers, or even themselves as a business long run. Again, they may not be vote they may not be supporting these anti-gun politicians because of their anti-gun politics. That may just be incidental. But we know anti-gun politicians, in addition to supporting unjust gun control laws, sooner or later getting around get around to trying to restrict other things. Again, you look at places with long-standing strict gun control. Most of them have very strict laws about the carrying of pocket knives as well. What does that mean? Benchmade, your business model seems to be support people who want to outlaw your product. And in the meantime, offend half your customer base or more. And I'm one of those people that you've offended. I'm one of those people who would save up for weeks to consider getting one of your uh, very well-made products. And... Um, I will not be buying any of your products ever again. And it pains me to say that, but I feel compelled to say it. Right? It's your choice to support whoever you want. You can turn a blind eye to their politics. You can hope that the, that's going to remain incidental. I can't, though. Right? I can't turn a blind eye to where my, my money, my hard-earned money, which I guard zealously and would never, ever, ever give to support something that I don't believe in. And then I'm going to buy a product from you and you're going to use how much of that money to support something that I don't believe in? I'm sorry, I can't. It's not even like it's 50-50. 100% of their donations were going to these anti-gun people. I, I, I understand. It's Oregon. Oregon's to the political left. If you want to support your local politicians, they're probably going to be far-left Democrats. But that's not the point, is it? The point is, you're supporting them. And you're supporting them with my money. And I, therefore, feel compelled to stop giving you my money. So, Lone Rider out. And uh, if you, like myself, uh, carry a pocket knife and you're looking at buying one, um, you know, Benchmade is a very well-known company. Um, and because they are made right here in the U.S. of A., and they're very high quality, generally speaking, when people in America are looking to buy a good quality pocket knife, Benchmade is one of the names that's thrown around. Um, but, you know, I have to be honest. Uh, I would not, you know, knowing what I know now, I would never have bought that Benchmade I bought a while ago. Um, I certainly won't be buying any going forward, and I would urge you um, not to do so either. Right? There are plenty of other companies that aren't helping to orchestrate the violation of people's uh, civil and constitutional rights, inadvertently or otherwise, and um, you should be supporting those companies instead. And it's a shame because they make a really good product. It's an awesome product. It's a. It's a. It's it's. Beautifully made. The fin finish is great. They just, they work so well. They're just really awesome. But I'm not going to buy any of their products ever again. I can't. And look at myself in the mirror. And uh, I think there's a lot of people who are going to be saying the same thing if they haven't already. And I understand. Benchmade is, is like, well, eh, we're just supporting the politicians in the area where we're located. It's not our fault they're anti-gun. You know what? It's not your fault they're anti-gun. But it is your fault you decided to donate to them. Now, if you want to do it, that's your right. But it's my right to say I won't be a party to it. 